Hampton Mall. Are you family? No, no, no. A gas station here in New York State near the Canadian border. Excuse me, can we speak to you please? Where we spent time over the course of three days asking questions. Excuse me, where are you coming from? Where are you from? India. India. How did you get here? Shooting video day and night. Are you guys um, picking up the people that are crossing the border? No. no. And observing, finding details in something as small as a shoe. Were you walking? Yes. Oh my God, it's dangerous. Very dangerous. We confirmed this is the meeting point for migrants after crossing the Canadian border on foot. Where are you going now? New York. New York City? Yeah. We spotted a New York City yellow taxi cab more than a five-hour drive away from home. We're told taxi, rideshare, and private drivers are all part of the plan to get migrants from here to New York City. One driver agreed to share details if we protect his identity. How much is the going rate? Price. Some people, they charge 150, 130, 135, like that. Per person? Yeah. How do they find you? Everybody driver, they park the car here, everybody know. Some people, they go by bus. This gas station is also a bus stop. In the middle of the night, we watched a mother and her children get on a bus headed to New York City. She didn't want us to show her face. ¿De dónde vienes, amiga? De Venezuela. In Spanish, she told me they're from Venezuela and in search of a better life. The pursuit of the American dream has long been documented as the fuel for the illegal journey countless migrants keep making into the U.S. While the focus has long been on the poorest southern border, our camera is pointed north. As we move through a part of northeast New York in Clinton County, right by the northern border's edge. Here, instead of walls and fences, you can find open land. Border barriers like these cement blocks are few and far between. Farms and small towns line the northern border here in northeast New York. This boundary marker divides the U.S. from Canada. And from the looks of it here, walking across is actually quite doable. Should they feel comfortable and confident that what you're saying now is going to be your policy moving forward? Dana, I think the, the, the most important and most significant aspect of my policy perspective and decisions is my values have not changed. I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented and cross borders criminals. That's correct. That is correct. A lot of the signs at the rally you just held were people standing there saying, abolish ICE. Yeah. Is that a position that you agree with? We need to probably think about starting from scratch. Data shows an increase in the number of people Border Patrol agents are catching crossing the northern border illegally. We crunch the numbers. It's an increase of almost 1,000% from 2021 to 2023. And this year, the numbers are still trending up. According to U.S. CBP records, the migrants crossing illegally from Canada are primarily coming from India. Mexican nationals are among the highest numbers. But there are people from all different parts of the world, including Romania, Guatemala, Haiti, and Venezuela. Canadian law enforcement telling us they're often sold the American dream by smugglers in their home countries. Migrants are flying to Canadian cities like Montreal and Toronto, where they can enter as tourists and or without a visa. They're being guided to the border's edge and walking across. In fiscal year 2023, 6,925 migrants were caught crossing the border illegally. In a statement, U.S. Customs and Border Protection said that's the most in Swanton sector history, a 550% increase over 2022 when the number sat at 1,065. And so, getting back to the Mountain Mark gas station. No fees, no fees. No. Despite the reluctance of many, how much to come from Canada? When you walk from Canada, do they charge you? Yes. How much you pay? <laughs> After days of work here, ¿Qué te dice a la frontera? it's now clear as day to us Most of the people, they come from Canada. that there's much more to know about the pipeline bringing migrants into the country through Canada. Hello, sir. Can you tell us where you're headed? No. We saw you before, right? Yes. Are you going to New York City? Hey. And straight to New York City. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News. Eve Online 
is a vast universe, alive with the unrelenting activity and combined history of its players. Pursuing lives of adventure, warfare, and prosperity, they share this existence in the biggest single shard, free-to-play MMO of all time. Set 21,000 years in the future, Eve takes place in a distant cluster of over 7,000 star systems known as New Eden. It is a rich and diverse universe featuring densely populated havens of relative safety governed by four great empires. Hostile systems where player alliances make the rules. Even regions of anomalous and unexplored space that hold their own secrets. You play as a Capsuleer, a revered breed of highly trained pilot, having achieved immortality through the use of cloning technology. You navigate the universe encased in an armored capsule deep within your ship, where you have complete neural control and function as one. There are hundreds of ships to fly in EVE. Everything from small, nimble craft and versatile mid-range vessels to formidable warships and colossal freighters. Each has advantages and suited roles, but all are completely customizable as you decide how to equip and arm them. What you do in New Eden is entirely up to you. Eve's immense sandbox gives you the opportunity to choose between multiple professions and activities. The key to this unique customization of your playstyle is skill training. This is a passive process and it continues whether you are in or out of game. As a new player, you can focus on one specific area in order to quickly reach the same level of specialization as a veteran. So be adventurous and explore new avenues of development for your character, as you can always change role and reinvent yourself if desired 